Ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure to present battery immersion cooling as a safety concept enabler. What does it mean? A lot of advantages. You know that uh, batteries normally has to op be operated in the optimum temperature range between 5 and 55 degrees. Outside, the performance is decreasing and even at high temperature, a thermal runaway can occur. So, what does it mean? We have to manage the temperature in the, in the battery and normally we are doing this by a normal passive air cooling on the motorcycle and uh, or forced uh, cooling or in some cases like the BMW i3 you have a refrigerant uh, cooling the battery pack and in the most of the cars you have a glycol water mixture to cool in an indirect way the battery pack but the latest generation is the direct cooling where the cells are directly emerged in, the, in a dielectric fluid. And the advantage you can see here, it's the heat transfer. You have a, a, a greater heat transfer and you can see it on the upper slide where a tremendous uh, increase of heat transfer can be achieved. And what comes out is the pros. The, you have uh, the, 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 the high heat exchange enables you to uh, quicker charge your battery or to charge the battery higher in the use. And, of course, to block the thermal runaway to improve safety. The cons, you can say the models are a little bit more complex and you have to choose the right, um, the right materials to build up the battery. Our cell shield safety concept uh, is, has a remarkable auto ignition temperature over 400 degrees and it's a mono, monophase fluid without any fluorine. So this means that you have no uh, safety pico, pictogram and it's very easy to handle. It's not a, a, a complicated product, but a very stable product at high temperature. This means that you can build up a cost, a, a very cost effective system for safety. We carried out to prove the safety of this uh, concept abusive tests, three type of abusive tests. The nail test, which is uh, uh, simulating the, 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 the um, introduction of a metallic part in the cells to uh, and to, to, to destroy the, the, the cells, then the electric overcharging and a heat plate uh, beside the cells. First, you can see in this video um, three tests. The first test is in the air. Please, the video. You can see the nail. The nail is going in the battery and immediately you have fire. And the next, it's emerged, the same battery pack is emerged in a PIO, in a synthetic oil. You can see the nail is going down and sometimes after, fire occurs. And the last test is with our uh, cell sheet fuel, uh, um, fluid. And you can see the nail is going down, there is vapor coming out, but no fire. So completely safe. In the next abusive test, 
On the next slide, we, we prepared five pouch cells in a, in a pack and we carried out uh, one test in the air to simulate air cooling and the other one in, in, the, in the fluid, in our safety fluid. And you can see the difference. At the left side, after 30 minutes, when you, by, by overcharging, you can see that fire occurs and uh, the temperature rises up to 700 degrees. The batteries are completely destroyed. And at the left, at the right side, you can see with the cell shield field, the temperature was under 100 degrees and no fire. There, there was no circulating of the fluid. This was just emerged in the fluid. And the last abusive test was done with a battery pack, which we built for a XC90, a Volvo car, a hybrid car. At the left side, you see the original pack with indirect cooling, glycol water. We changed it to uh, emerging, uh, emerged uh, cooling pack. And uh, we placed this cooling pack uh, beside a heat plate, which were uh, heated to 260 degrees. There was no fluid circulating. And uh, it, it, this, the, the fire occurs after one hour and 70 minutes. It was only by placing the, the, the heated place at, uh, beside the cell. When we now going to the emerged pack, we can see that even after seven hours and in the same time, overcharging, electrical overcharging, no fire occurs, nothing happens. And this is only by emerging the cells in the fluid. So the, 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 the difference between uh, leaving the, the, the cells in the air to cool or emerging it in a fluid, in a, in a safety fluid, it's a tremendous achievement in safety. So um, this means that this shows that we, our, our, our work, our achievement we have done in early time to build up these uh, safety fluids, these uh, enablers for safety concept is working very well and we would be pleased to work with our customers to set up the safety concept for future electric vehicles. Thank you.